Today, we're going to learn how to embed NumWorks on a quiz in Canvas. First, let's begin by exploring our options for embedding. Go to numworks.com backslash simulator backslash embed backslash how to. Here, you need to answer a few questions to generate an embed code. Choose what you want to embed, either a new simulator session or a saved simulator session. A new simulator session will allow you to provide students access to an empty calculator. A saved simulator session will allow you to let students pick up where you left off. For now, we're going to do a new simulator session. Next, you'll want to select what format you'll want the calculator to appear in. Selecting full calculator will give your students access to the NumWorks calculator that has all of the normal buttons. For instance, you can type a square root by going into your calculation app and hitting the square root button followed by the number you'd like to compute and then execute. In contrast, the screen only format will give students access to just the screen of the NumWorks calculator. While this is space saving, your students will need to know how to use your keyboard to access the calculator. For example, pressing enter to open the calculation app and then using SQRT followed by an open parentheses will access the square root function. For this example, I'm going to use a full calculator. For Canvas, avoid using the button option as that will not work in Canvas. Once you have answered your questions, your code will be generated in this little gray area. Highlight the code and press Control C to copy the code. Next, we need to access the Canvas quiz that we will be embedding. I'll open a quiz that I started earlier. Canvas allows teachers to embed iframes into their rich context editor. To access their embed field, click the three vertical dots at the top right corner of the rich content editor. The embed field is their last icon that looks like a little cloud. Click on this icon. This will open an embed field where you can paste your code. Click into the field and press Control V and then hit Submit. Pasting the calculator in the instructions of the quiz will give students access to the calculator for the entire quiz. You can also paste NumWorks into rich content editors for each question. Let's look at an example where we do that. This time, I'm going to use a saved simulator session and use the screen only format. This is a great way to add preloaded material for your students to use and interact with during their quiz. Here, you need to provide a link to the Save Simulator session. I have one from earlier that is a data set on fat and protein items in the Burger King menu. Simply copy the link for the Save Simulator session and paste it into the Session Link field. Now your code has been updated. Simply highlight the field, control C to copy, and we'll paste this into our question on Canvas. Navigating back to my Canvas quiz, I'm going to go into my questions, and I'm going to find the question that is relevant to my Burger King data. My second question asks them to create a line of best fit and make a prediction on that data set. So I'm going to edit this question Use the three vertical dots again, click the embed icon, and paste my code into the field. Again, press submit. Now we can save and preview our quiz. I recommend that when you have NumWorks embedded on your calculators, you have it set to only one question at a time is visible. Going into preview, now students can use the calculator that they're familiar with on the questions that they have. For example, we can find the square root of 50 in our calculator. For questions that have Save Simulator sessions, students can click on the Save Simulator session and use their keyboard to navigate through the Save session. In this example, students can view their scatter plot, press OK to add linear models, 
And then just like their calculator, they can use their linear model to make predictions. You can embed NumWorks into any rich content editor on Canvas. This includes quizzes, assignments, pages, discussions, and more. For more tutorials, visit numworks.com.